Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear pupils. I am Teacher Norma Lika, your grade four math teacher. Are you now ready for a math exciting adventure? That's great! Get ready your ball pen and paper because in today's lesson, we will learn about reading and writing numbers up to 100,000 in symbols and in words. Let us take this numeral as an example. Note that this numeral is written in standard form. Standard forms are numbers written in digits or in numeral form. On the other hand, when the number is spelled out or written in words, it is in a word form. Going back to our sample numeral. How do you read it? How do you write it in words? Maybe some know how to read and write the numeral and some do not. But don't worry, teacher Armanika is here to help you. To read and write numbers in word forms, we will follow the following steps. Step number one, separate the digits into periods. Let us review the place value chart. In the place value chart, there are three rows, periods, place value, and digits. In reading and writing numbers, remember that periods are very important. And since you are reading and writing numbers up to 100,000, you have to remember two periods, namely the units period and the thousands period. Under units, there are three place values, ones, tens, and hundreds. Under thousands, we have three place values, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Now, the place value of one is ones. The place value of two is tens. The place value of 8 is hundreds, and the place value of 4 is thousands, and the place value of 6 is ten thousands. Step number 2. From the left, read the number formed by the digits and the thousands period, followed by the name of the period. Looking at the number found in our place value chart here, how do you read the numeral in the thousands period? Correct! 64. So, we write 64. Then write the singular form of the period. Instead of saying thousands, we say thousand. So the number in the thousands period is 64,000. Step number three. Do the same with the units period without saying the name of the period. How do you read the numeral in the units period? Very good. 821. So we write 821. So the given numeral is read and written as 64,821. Note that in writing the word form of a number, we use comma to separate the periods. Take note, zeros are not read when they used to hold the place value of non-zero digits. For example, 34,075. 52,009. Let us try to write the value numbers. I'll give you 10 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. The answer is 27,207. Number 2. The answer is 61,458. Number 3. The answer is 49,366. Did you get all the correct answer? Very good! Have you observed there are hyphenated numbers and less numerals? Like 27, 61, 58, 49, and 66. Don't forget that numbers from 21 to 99 are written with a hyphen, except 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Okay now, what if 
We are asked to write if we want thousand seventy nine and the symbols. How are we going to do it? Very easy. Step number one. Prepare your place value chart with the thousands and units periods. Step number two. Write the numeral under each period. In the given number, 51,079, what number is in the thousands period? Very good. 51. So, we will write the number 51 under the thousands period. Next, what number is in the units period? Correct. 79. So, we will write the number 79 in the units period. Step number 3. Place HP chat in the correct place value. The number 79 under the units period means 9 ones and 7 tenths. Next, the number 51 in the thousands period means 1 thousands and 5 ten thousands. But if you are going to take a closer look at our place value chart here, we can see that there is no digit in the hundreds place and simply means there is no hundreds. But we will not leave the hundreds place empty. Since it means no hundreds, we will write the digit zero to complete the digits and the units period. Our place value chart here shows five ten thousands, one thousands, zero hundreds, seven tens, and nine ones. And this is equal to fifty one thousand seventy nine. Step number four use space or comma to separate the digits. In writing numbers and symbols, we use space or comma to separate the periods or group of threes, starting from the right. So the symbol for 51,079 is when we use space to separate the periods, or when we use comma to separate the periods. Easy, right? Yeah! Now, what amazing kids! It's practice time! I will give you 10 seconds to answer each number. Ready? Here we go. Write the following numbers in standard form. Number 1. And the answer is... Number 2. And the answer is... Number 3. And the answer is... Did you get the same answers? Yeah! Nice work! So, that's it for today, Mock Amazing Kids! See you again next time on another Mock Exciting Lesson! Again, this is Teacher Normally Caminaga saying, Keep learning and keep growing! Goodbye!